Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Aliendra. Welcome back to another cast challenge, I guess. Today we're doing the realistic sim create a sim challenge or we're just trying to create a super hyper realism sim, which is really weird for me because I always play with Maxis Match CC. So my sims do not look realistic, but I have my alpha folder in my game and I went and looked for a few more like more realistic CC items. So I've got those in as well. I'm really excited to get started and see what they do for my sim. But this is just the base sim that we're starting off with. And I'm going to try to make her look as realistic as possible. So I want her to look like a real human being by the end of this video. Anyways, give the video a thumbs up if you like creative sim challenges. And let's just get started. I don't think I'm going to really change anything about her face until we give her the skin overlay because... I don't know, they just don't work with all eyes and all features, etc. So I'm gonna check out the skin overlays first. I have a lot in my game, but I'm looking for the ones I just downloaded. A lot of the alpha ones are realistic. So this one I just got. Um, I don't think it's that realistic. It definitely is way more than like my Maxis Match skins. Let's see like the body, because these are full body overlays. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it was recommended for hyper realism. Let's see what else I've got. I really like these skins over here. Whoa, this one, that's pretty cool. Okay, but I just downloaded this and I don't have the HQ mod, which does like high quality textures. So oh, I don't know how this will look in normal criticism without the texture. Whoa, okay. That is so realistic. Wait, that's actually insane. I think this would look even crazier if I had the HQ mod, but I don't look at that. That is insane. That is very, very impressive. Obviously her eyes and her eyebrows look very, very out of place. We could do this. Apparently it's only for this skin tone. There's no other skin tones. There's a lot of different versions, but it's all with the same skin tone. Actually, no, these ones are a little bit darker. So there's a couple different shades. I don't like how much highlight there is, especially when you zoom out. It just looks a little bit odd in my opinion. I want to try this one though. I want to try with um, alpha eyes and alpha eyebrows and then see if the highlight is okay. Can't really find any eyes that I really, really like because I want to do dark eyes. So I might go for those ones. They're not super perfect, but I think they will do. Oh, maybe those ones are kind of cool. This is so, so weird trying to make her like face look good with the skin overlay. I'm so not used to it. So I've been playing around with her features. Um, I just think she looks stagged, like something about, is it her eyes? I think it's her eyes that are just making her look really, really sad. But I changed the eyebrows, I changed everything. I really, really like how the lips look with the skin overlay. I think they're insane. They look super, super realistic. I don't even want to do lipstick or anything. But I also want to do like a realistic face shape and I have no idea what to do because this is just very, very hard. Okay, maybe once we give her hair, it'll make more sense. I was gonna give her eyelashes, but if you look closely, it kind of looks like she already has eyelashes from this skin. They look kind of messy though, so I'm gonna try them on her, but I have no idea how they are going to layer. These are my massive, massive ones, and then I also have these ones. I think I'll use these just to add a little bit more something to her eyes. I think she looks pretty good. She still looks a bit frowny. I'm not a big fan of the highlight on her face. Am I able to layer other skin textures over this one? Okay, okay. So we definitely want to do a hairline with baby hairs. That looks so much better already. She looks insane though. I have never had a sim look this realistic in cast before. She looks so different from what I'm used to seeing in the sims. It's actually crazy. But yeah, I think she's looking good. We're gonna change the hair because obviously this one is Max's match. I have a lot of alpha hairs, but I wanna see if I have something with a better hair texture for her. Okay, she would be so cute in the little space buns. But I also have this, which I think is super, super cool. I really, really like how that looks. Oh, what about this hair? This hair covers her forehead so you don't see as much of the highlight shine that I'm not the biggest fan of. 
This is kind of nice. She looks really good in like a shorter hairstyle like that as well. I also have this hair, which I actually really, really like. Oh my God, look at the little baby hairs. So this one comes with its own baby hairs. This is the one I had on her, but it doesn't really make sense to use it with this. But I think this looks so nice. I think I'm actually gonna use this hair obsessed with the baby hairs. So yeah, I love how she's looking. I honestly also think she looks very, very realistic. Not sure about makeup, but I'll try some of the things, oh my gosh, that I've got. Okay, this is super, super subtle, but I'm adding this eyeshadow. It reduces the shininess a little bit. Okay, so blushes didn't work with this skin overlay, and I'm not having any luck with lipsticks either because as you can see, maybe with like these lighter colors, they don't cover her entire lips. I think the skin overlay just makes her lips so much bigger. So I can't do any lips, but I don't really care because I really, really, really like how the lips just look like with just the skin overlay. So I think we're gonna do her clothing and then fine tune some things in the end. I have no idea what is my most realistic clothing item. I don't like realistic clothing in The Sims. I think it looks a bit weird and it looks super out of place, but I have tried to download some of it and some of it can look good. It's just my personal preference. I don't even know what style I want to give her. <laughs> okay, stuff like this does always look very, very realistic with the texture. I do like that a lot. I don't really think it's the kind of look I wanna go for for our sim here, but it's really cool. Okay, this I like. I think that's really cool. I still don't know what I want though, but I am leaning towards stuff like this. Oh, this dress is adorable. Oh, I love that in black. Okay, I think this is my favorite, but I'm gonna look at some tops to see if there will be a better combo. Okay, here we have texture again. A texture just makes things look more realistic, so maybe we could find a nice swatch of this sweater. Okay, this, this is very realistic. This is cool, she could definitely wear that. Okay, I'm a big fan of this off shoulder top as well, and I really wanted to find a way to add some more color to this criticism, but I just didn't like a lot of the other outfits when they were in brighter colors. But this one actually looks so nice in like the yellow, for example. Yeah, let's do this top just to add some color. I really like this green, but I think yellow just complements her skin tone so, so well. So now I just need to find some bottoms that I think go with this outfit and that look realistic enough. But honestly, she looks crazy. She looks so realistic, it's insane. Okay, I think these jeans are amazing. They're so flattering and they have like two versions. So I feel like this one is a little bit more realistic looking than this one. Like this one is more matte. So I wanna go for this one. I think they even give her a belly button piercing, which is awesome. So I'm just trying to decide on the color because I do like the lighter blues. I just feel like maybe it's a bit much. So then we could just go for black. I think we'll go for this more gray color. I think that looks pretty nice. And then we just need shoes. Should we do yellow heels? <laughs> is that a bit extra? Let's do black heels with yellow toenail polish. <laughs> Let's do that. So there, okay, that's kind of cute. I don't mind that. Let's throw on a couple of bracelets and then Maybe we'll even do rings. Yeah, okay, I really like the rings. And then obviously we need nails. I'm doing black nails, she looks awesome. Not so sure about the outfit. I always suck with alpha outfits, but I think it looks really sick. So I'm gonna give her either big earrings or a necklace. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Either this long necklace, which I do really like with these earrings, they're small, but there is a lot of them. Or we could just do really really big hoops and no necklace at all because i feel like these two together is too much so this is the no necklace i do really like having big hoops so yeah i think this is our sim done i love her this skin overlay is so good it's perfect for hyper realism so i think this sim looks awesome honestly she looks so freaking cool does she not look super super realistic look at the freaking pores on her face and everything and the collarbone like the skin just looks i don't know it just looks like real human skin so let's give her a name 
Shanice, sure, why not? And then her last name is gonna be Queen, perfect. So yeah, this is our hyper-realistic Sim, Shanice. I think she looks amazing. I'm so excited with how this challenge turned out and how our sim turned out. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you would have done something differently or if you think she looks really cool. And if you want to see this again or other creative sim challenges, definitely let me know. I love her look. I love the yellow and black vibe. I just think, I think she's perfect. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And that is all for me today. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.